Hello and uh, welcome and thank you for joining me on the channel. Today we're going to talk about the thing I bring up a lot on the Facebook channel, Facebook page. Uh, when people are having trouble with their car misfiring or not starting and things like that, I often say check the injector harness plug. So today I thought I'll show you how to do that and the reason I suggest this all the time is because it's a simple check before you get in depth with anything else it's just a simple thing you're not undoing that RPCVs or checking ops or taking the rocker cover off all you're doing is checking for oil ingress in the harness now I'll show you the harness and I'll explain when I show you the harness how oil gets in there in the first place so before we get started you're going to need a few things possibly possibly brake cleaner You'll definitely need some electrical contact cleaner, some cloths, and maybe some kitchen roll, whichever is your preference, and some black nitrile gloves just to stop it getting all oily. Right, let's get on. Okay, so we're looking in the left hand passenger side of the engine here. There's the dipstick and the transmission dipstick, and what we're looking for is this cable here and this plug. Now, this comes out of the engine block here. Now my plug's slightly different because I've put precautions in place to stop it uh, stop it work doing it on mine. So um, if I can remember how to get this apart, we'll pull it apart. Right. Okay. So let's have a look. The engine's a little bit hot, and the reason is is because I've just come back. And the engine's been running so we have a cable here comes out of the, the rocker cover and into this socket here where all the pins are this is where you do the white wire um, trick from the other side yeah so you can see there there's no oil in there and that's because I've modified mine what happens is in their infinite wisdom Isuzu used copper stranded wire in the harness now this is a new harness by the way I put a new harness I'm going to rebuild the engine it's not that new but it's new to the car now because of it, where the plug plugs onto the top of the injector is in the oil there's oil in there that's where the lubricant is for the uh, for the cams and all the cam followers and all that sort of thing so this is sitting in an oily environment in there and the plugs have got seals on them but the seals are not what we would call brilliant so if we look at the other end of this you'll see this has got a seal on it as well a green seal there I don't know if you can see it um, a similar seal sits on the small plugs on top of the injectors but oil can get in there and oil does get in there and because these are stranded copper wires you get capillary action coming down those wires and it goes there's nothing to stop it extruding into that plug right there now what happens with the engine is the orbs the oil rail pressure sender inside there on the on the oil rail in there measures the oil pressure being pumped by the high pressure oil pump it sends a signal to the ECU which is sitting down here to our left and the ECU sends a signal back via the RPCV it controls the pressure to the oil rail but it also sends a signal through this harness to the injectors and it tells it when to open the valve and when to close the valve. If you've got oil shorting out in there between the pins chances are that it's not going to fire properly and um, the oil will conduct the electricity and short out the pins and I had an issue well, a couple of, a year or so ago now when I put my car into reverse it would cut the engine out put it into drive it was fine but as soon as you put it into reverse it would cut the engine out every single time so I I, uh, I did a bit of thinking about it and I, and I thought it must be this plug and it was it was full of oil so what I did was we had a I had a spare harness and I, I soldered the wires in between there and then uh, 
I just clean this out regularly which I'm going to do now as soon as you're having issues with an engine misfiring or an engine cutting out when you put it into drive or, or you try to set off or anything like that check in here for oil ingress if there's oil in there clean it out and it, there is a YouTube video on this and what the guy has done is he's taken these wires and he's soldered them all back onto the pins and the solder stops the oil ingress because there's no gap for the oil to get through so you can solder up those joints where they go into the back of the pins anyway let's give it a clean out and see how we go so what we need here is contact cleaner ah. squirting in my face so you can see I've given it a good clean out with contact cleaner there now don't forget to do the other side that's important too now let them dry and as soon as they're dry you can reassemble them one of the things is the green seal around there now I've just sprayed that with contact cleaner so the seal would be not working as well as it should so normally I would use oh, I forget the name of it now uh, um, I would use that on and I would just put it around the uh, around the seal just to give it something give it a bit of rejuvenation and, uh, and give it something but I've put silicon grease on instead now make sure you assemble this the correct way around make sure the seal goes into the hole as you can see you can see that the seal's gone in there on both sides and it's clicked together and that's it we've now cleaned out the injector harness plug now one of the issues that can happen is if it's really really bad the, um, the oil ingress can get through to your CPU, ECU because these these cables are also attached um, if you follow that rear cable you'll find that it comes out on one of these and if you take these out you'll uh, see if there's any oil in there again give it a clean out with contact cleaner just be careful what you're doing and if there's anything in there it will disturb the signals now mine is like everybody else's you see this here this was done on a Holden mod where they cut the boot this waterproof boot and uh, just so they could get into the cables and then just left it so mine's as bad as everybody else's that's had that mod done okay so um, there you go that's a short video but um, it is one that is uh, suitable for engines that have, have got um, misfires or they're cutting out when you put them in gear or they won't start that's the first thing to check because that is easy to check and it's cheap to check and there's no taking engines apart or anything like that you might as well do it first before you do anything else because why not why wouldn't you uh, that's the end so thanks for watching and I hope to see you out there